Hi friends, Tracy here from the Sewing Channel. Welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome. I haven't visited my Goodwill in about a week and a half. So I was getting the itch this morning, so I went ahead and went. This video is jam-packed. I've never seen my Goodwill quite like this. It was literally busting out at the seams, and I'm talking the craft section was busting out. You'll see, there is an auction today. I'll let you know during the video what the auction item is today. Enough talking already. It's jam-packed. Let's get busy. The craft section was so overwhelming today when I went into the Goodwill. There was stuff falling out all over. Now, I gave these a thumb down at 99 cents because they're called Crafter Square, and I know that Crafter Square is from Dollar Tree, so you can get it for a dollar brand new, so not a good deal. But this, however, was for scrapbooking right here that I'm looking at. It had a bunch of neat little scrapbooking stuff in it. This package here, it contained geraniums that you could stencil on, looks like fabric or a wall. Mrs. Claus doll heads for 99 cents, anyone? Today's quick trip seemed like it was all about the scrapbookers today. I mean, there was scrapbooking items everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I mean busting out everywhere. Here's a no sew fleece scarf kit. Here they wanted $2.99 for this Bodabra. Online, brand new on Amazon, they are $20. Next, I found a bag of Bias Spiny. Now, usually they're only $2.99, but they wanted $4.99 for that, so I definitely passed on that. Here's a bag of vintage Rick Rack and some Bias Binding, and it was $4.99 as well. And typically they're a lot cheaper than that, so I passed on that again. I was competing with this other woman that was next to me, so I was trying to hurry up and get through my videoing so I could let her through. But here's a Crafter Square apron. Bad deal. There were also bags and bags and bags of all these different colored beads. I'm going to back the camera up in slow motion. Look at this hot mess up in my Goodwill. It's never like this. There was also a lot of these kits, you know, with the yarn that have a picture with it. This next item, I couldn't figure out what it was really. Some dolls, it had some stuff in there, but I, I don't know what it was. It looked like they were made with stockings or something. But here again, yet we have some more stencils. This bag had a bunch of really cute, tiny miniature hangers in it. Perfect to put in my printer's drawer that I thrifted last week. I don't know what it is, but I keep finding these rotary cutting mats, the tiny travel ones. So I bought it for 99 cents. Now I have like three. Here's another yarn stitchery project. I mean, I know that I overlooked a bunch of stuff. I had to have, I mean, it was so much. I can't even believe it still. It's the most it's been since I've been going back to the Goodwill. Here's some Dritz elastic. It didn't have a price on it, so I don't know how much they were asking. Here's some more of the stitching projects, a ton of those. This looked kind of cute, actually, this one. I didn't end up getting it, but it looked real cute. Here is a leopard from Creative Needlecraft. Looks kind of fun. They wanted $5.99 for this bag of ribbon. I thought it was way overpriced when usually they typically only want a couple dollars for it. So I'm not sure who's doing all the pricing. This pillow kit seemed like it was really nice and it was pretty for $1.99. I almost popped on this one for this vintage hoop for 99 cents. Now I know a lot of you might be mad at me for not getting it, but I don't need it. <laughs> This cute country cross stitch was $2.99. Not a horrible deal, I don't think. On this next cross stitch, it was cows, and I almost popped on it for a friend I was going to give it to, but it didn't have any yarn or anything with it, so I threw it back in there. At first glance, I thought this was a cowbell, but it's not. It's actually a very large bias tape maker, and it will be the auction for today. The auction will start at $1.99, exactly the price I paid, and it will go up on auction directly after the airing of this video, and it will go for seven days. Here was a basket full of zippers. They typically go for about 99 cents here at this Goodwill. 
This next item I thought was a really good deal. It was a whole kit unopened full of scrapbooking stuff. There was ribbons, stickers, lace. I mean, it looked like a really good kit. Now this next item for $2.99 was a bag of vintage fabric. Now I know the bag looks small, but I bought that because I love vintage fabric. I couldn't find the price on this little child singer sewing machine, but it did say it was tested, so it must work. Now here, look, this was vintage bag fabric number two. I put that in my cart as well for $2.99. Here was a ribbon shredder. I don't know why you would want to do that, but I don't know, maybe one of you might know. Anyone want to pop on a bag full of eyes for $2.99? That's the first time I've ever seen a bag of eyes at the Goodwill. I pass on that. Here are some curtain tie backs. They were really pretty. At first glance, I thought this was thread, but it's not. It's some more of that crochet thread. Up on the top shelf, I found one of these vintage wooden sleeve ironing boards, and I popped on that. Now, there was no price on it. So when I got up to pay for it at the register, I told them there's no price on it, and she said, well, would you do $2.99 for it? And I said, sure. I will take all of the covering off of it and put a new cover over it, and it seemed like it was really sturdy, solid wood, so I think it's a good buy for $2.99. This next item looked like another vintage hoop and it looked like it had a bunny rabbit um, stitch project within it. Now I don't know what this was. I think it actually goes to maybe some cutting tool or something, but I don't know. Now I don't know if Joanne Fabrics donated this next item or if it was just some random person, but there was rolled up pieces of fabric there, but honestly there was nothing really great there, so I of course left it. And plus, I thought for $2.99 for those tiny rolls, nah. The yarn area, it was busting out, let me tell you. Falling all over the place. Now this I haven't seen in a while. Unless I'm wrong, you guys tell me in the comments. I think I found some macrame yarn, as they would call it. I used to do it years ago. That right there. Is that macrame? You let me know down in the comments if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> Here's some brand new yarn for $1.99. Now this is the highest I've ever seen bagged yarn at my Goodwill. For $10.99, they can have it. This next item caught my eye because it was brand new in the package and it was a package opener from Scotch and I thought, wow, that might come in handy. What I didn't realize was when I got up to the cash register, it had been opened already. So I said something to the lady at the register and she said, well, would you take it for 99 cents? And I said, sure. In the back room of my Goodwill this week, there were a couple of really old machines. This one was so bad, bad shape that I couldn't even tell what it was. I was really trying to get close there with the camera. I still don't know what machine it was. It was pretty bad. And then there was this one here, and I did try to lift that up, but it's like lifting a, an anchor out of the ocean, I'm telling you. Wow. I mean, so they were both in pretty bad shape, so... Yeah, they typically range at my Goodwill between $15 and $25, though. Let me know in the comments below if you know what that first black machine was. I really just could not tell. Here in the book section was a book on stitches. I passed on that one, though. These next items, however, I did not pass on. There were about 12 quilting books all together, and you can see on the right-hand side there, I posted some pictures that are within the books. These quilts are just absolutely stunning. Now, the books at my Goodwill are typically 99 cents each, but these were not full books, you see. They were tiny pamphlets almost. They were really thin and skinny. So I made mention of that to the lady at the register. Well, she ended up giving to me for half off, so I got all those books for $6. Oh, yeah, score. If you ever feel like you should get a better deal than what you're getting, don't ever be afraid to reason with the goodwill people. Now the reasoning doesn't always work. It's not foolproof, but 
All they can say is no, right? And lastly, here's somebody's blood, sweat, and tears out on Front Street for $2.99. Hmm. Until next time on The Sewing Channel, take care.